Hi lovelies, so I wanted to kind of catch this thought while I was having it and um, after being through recovery and presenting who you actually are to people uh, and I guess what I would call my authentic self and not making apologies for it, well one, I didn't think that people were going to like me obviously, that's why I was codependent and um, I thought it was going to be very traumatic and just a lot of, I mean, I'm not saying it wasn't a lot of work, but I thought it was going to be a lot of different work, like more work of like gaining people's trust back and more work of going through a lot of, well, that was a lot of work, going through a lot of hurt feelings that I had. But what I think has been the most unusual and unexpected about being myself is how accepted that is. Um, I just never thought that people would like me. They like me, they really like me. Um, and I especially didn't think people that I like faked myself into them liking me or what I thought was. Um, but I guess what you really learn is that the people that really care and that you're closest with will see who you really are, even if you don't. And so a lot of times when people are like, well, I don't know if I can just like talk to my friends about this. And I'm like, now that I'm on the other side of recovery and reimmersing myself and people, I'm like, people know. And they just know that something's not right and it's going to end up pushing people away instead of giving yourself at least two options, which is pushing them away or getting closer. The first one, you're just gonna be pushing people away. You're not gonna get closer. So there's only one option there when being yourself gives you two options because some people can say, hey, I don't exactly like you anymore, or what I thought I did, so I'm going to peace out. And that's kind of a good thing. Like, you don't wanna be friends with people that don't like you, so there and then the awesome other option is people go we really like you like a lot more now because now there isn't like something weird that we don't know what's going on and we can't ask certain questions because it's like a gray area and um so but uh, this is not a bad thing but for me learning has been interesting but how much I care about the people that I have let back into my life and reconnected with and shown who I really am and have shown me nothing but crazy amounts of love is incredible to me because I just freaking love them so much and it's very scary for me. Um, and it's brought back a lot of my own old insecurities, things I'd kind of buried away and didn't really think was affecting me ever or at all. And it actually is a lot and I'm, star I'm starting to exhibit self-sabotage type behavior um, where I'm starting to say like, no, these people are gonna hurt you they're going to do the same thing that people have done to you in the past and um, run away. And I've been really good at catching it, talking to the people about it, letting them know that this is what's going on, this is how I'm feeling, and it's something that I need to work through. It's not something that you're doing wrong or what have you. It's not about the exact situation. It's how I'm reacting to it. And it's just been so lovely that people have been so supportive and what can we do? Like, do you want to talk about it? And oh my gosh, I mean, I just, people are amazing. I don't think we give people enough credit because I know we get burned so many times, but I'm telling you for the people that I have in my life now, I don't care how many times I had to be burned. They are just amazing and I'm so lucky to have them. They make my life so much easier and happier and 
just so full of love and life and wonderful things and I just never knew that friends could be like that and not suck me dry and um, I do have to find a balance of being really needy to giving too much that's still something that I'm obviously going to struggle with for quite some time I think all people struggle with it a little bit but oh, I just yeah that's that's a huge huge thing right now so I just kind of wanted to get that out there um, I know a lot of people with chronic illness struggle with kind of coming out uh, to their friends and family and things like that and those are just my little experiences and words of wisdom I guess you could call them that um, but I hope you're having a pain free stress free day. I'm sending out X doubles, and as always, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye!